Hello everyone. My name is a complete moron and I'm such a big idiot. <sighs> I'm such a big idiot. I forgot to press record when I was playing this game. <laughs> so I played like 20 minutes of it. <laughs> I, tried, I just realized that I'm not recording. Or was I recording and it, it, it ended? I don't know. Anyways, TLDR for the game, for how much you've got to catch up if you, if you still want to watch this, is that I'm a waiter who's applying to go to different uh, waitering restaurants, something like that. And then um, uh, I'm working at this restaurant where this man pops by, his name is Hendrik. He summons an eldritch horror being full of tentacles, and then the eldritch horror being takes a human form. And now I, she asked me to get her a starter, and I got her Caesar salad, and she hates it. I mean, Henrik hates it. Um, yeah, so that's the gist of it. Uh, God damn it. I forgot to press record again. Uh, okay, yeah, okay, so yeah, yeah. So um, uh, the restaurant doesn't normally look like this. It looks more like this. It. Oh, no, I, I need to save. I need to save first. I'm going to save there. So the restaurant looks like this, and I got him a crayon, which he then used to summon this Eldritch Horror right here. Very cool looking boy. And then the Eldritch Horror transformed into this girl, and then, uh, 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 you know, um, she's just calling us uh, uh, a human, and she can see how bad I am and how, uh, how terrible of a person I am with her eyes. And then I uh, said Caesar salad. Uh, I don't know if the other options say anything. Ah! Okay, so it was chili that was a good option, but I chose the wrong option, so I'm just gonna roll with it. Anyways, hi, I my name is still a complete idiot. Welcome to this game. So, <laughs> I don't know if you got any of that, but that's basically the um, starting of the game. I am stupid, I am very stupid, but we're gonna just continue onwards like nothing happened. Ahem. Uh did I tell you how lovely your eyes are this evening? From your er ever effusive sewer pipe of compliments spring something worthwhile. I made most of them myself, but the eye in the center of my head with was my reference object. Mm, she does have those beautiful eyes. I uh, couldn't tell the difference. Your, your anatomy has gotten so much better since the last decade. Oh, I bet you like that anatomy with those tentacles. <laughs> it, is, it is easier when I have a fresh supply of study materials. So I suppose I can remain here long enough to consume some matter. Let no sentient being claim that I do not repay my debts. Well, that's just one of the perks of my of the job. Teacher, teachers can bring home knowledge, cooks can bring home food, and surgeons can bring spare body parts back to their girlfriends. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's true in a way. <laughs> imagine, imagine your uh, partner just walking through the uh, through the ha uh, through the main door. And you wish them, hey, how are you doing? Welcome back home. And they pull out a meaty leg that they just got from their surgery and gives it to you. Only the best gifts by surgeons. I can say with re relative certainty that this isn't how it works. If I ever find out this man's last name, I am never going to his hospital. <laughs> I feel like the hospital is going to be completely filled with elder tours. Just, just, you know, I mean, it is, I, mean, I, I would go there because of that, but yeah. I serve Teleporia. Okay, so yeah, her name is Teleporia. Uh, yeah, you're not all caught up. <laughs> Try not to get too close. I'll be back in a moment. I need to wash my hands after that summoning. Oh, don't leave me with her. I might not survive. I think I'm gonna be dessert over here because she did say that she uh, she was happy that uh, there was some sort of I don't know humans a uh, human human young human sacrifice. I don't know what she said. I forgot. I have a bad memory. Okay, before I'll ever feel clean again i'll need a hot shower a brillo pad and therapy teleporia purses her lips and pokes at the lettuce with a fork foliage oh no look at her teeth that cruel glare of course she's a meat eater what was i thinking do people order lamb chili as starter that seems more like a entree or like a main course or like a side dish that you get with i don't know i need to rescue this quickly our Caesar salad also comes with anchovies, which you will see there. I gesture to her to, uh, to her the small uh, fish in her salad. She spears one uh, on an elongated claw. She, she peers closely at it with her cluster of eyes. If you were to diagram your local food chain, where might where might find one of these small creatures? 
or I guess it, it isn't a plant or plankton, but it's still re relatively towards the bottom. She snorts, a meager offering for an, for an establishment claiming to vend a luxury. She picks the fish out uh, and chomps them down before shoving the rest of the bowl away disgusted. She wraps the scarf around herself. Now that I think about it, the clothing Hendrik brought for her is all very heavy. A maxi skirt, a thick sweater, and a blanket scarf. The weird clothing that scarf, are you cool? You may not have my scarf, it retains my heat. I will continue to generate and, and retain heat, and it will belong to me, not you. Oh, my throat is dead because I've been talking for half an hour and you guys don't know that. Uh, we'll see how this video goes. Uh, it, uh, I'm sorry, it's already a terrible start, but hey, sometimes it's got to have terrible starts, you know? I swear I was recording, but I guess not. I take a step back. No, that's not all. That's, that's all your heat, fair and square. She growls. Happily? Yes, all mine. Hendrik will be procuring more matter this evening. She'll continue to power this form. Physical exertion is a luxury. The caloric energy necessary to move it but a digit. She lifts one of her claws. Is precious. I have gone for thousands of years lying uh, in wait for foolish summoners to tear open rifts and let in the good, good heat from your world. Teleporia leans down on the table. The edges of the scarf trail into her untouched salad. So human, how do you enjoy generating your own heat? Um. Ah, oh, uh, uh, it's not great. Have you ever gotten sweaty? Yeah, sweat sucks. I'm a very sweaty person. Um, yeah. I found my collar a little. I could really use a cold drink right now. Hey, I'm looking at a hot drink right now. <laughs> Those tentacles, though. Gotta say. Also, by the way, um, none of the diners uh, can see what's happening. They're all going on their day as if nothing's happening. And I cannot interact with any of the diners, and I don't think uh, they can see what I'm doing. Same thing in the kitchen. Uh, no one in the kitchen was able to talk to me, or I wasn't able to get their attention. So, yeah. She gives a quizzical look. Are you implying that at times you generate too much heat? That is how the body works. Hypothalamus and all that. I nod. In the summer when the sun, uh, in the summer when the sun gets dark, I, I just turn into her for a quick second. In the summer when the sun gets closer to Earth, everything gets hot and gross. Humans can get so warm they die. Her eyes are wide open, uh, both of them, all of them. Do you catch fire and burn? No, it's not like getting burned. It's just too much heat for the whole system, I think. And you cannot simply uncover yourselves and release the heat into the vacuum of space. I shake my head. No, ma'am. The vacuum of space is too far away, and in the summer, we're surrounded by too much heat. Ha! Your creators fail to take the seasons into account. Tell it to mind that. T uh, tell it to mind that on the next draft. I assure her that I will, and out of the corner of my eyes, I see Hendrik returning. And Hendrik returns, getting along well, as well as might be expected. Still, thank you for keeping her company. We have eaten appetizers, and she shakes. She sh 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 ha. I cannot words, okay? I'm sorry. I am finished with mine. He laughs. Of course, how could I forget? So then, would you like to move on to, move on to the main course now? Hmm. The next part of the meal. Ah, yes, with the larger portions. Henrik points to her menu. So what, what, here, what were you thinking about? I always like steak, but I admit that I, that I was kind of thinking about splurging on the Hey, human Lucifer! <laughs> Excuse you, I am the devil. I just work as a part-timer. If anyone gets that reference, you're cool. I snap to attention. Yes, ma'am. Choose. Do it promptly and wisely, or else I will need to consume something else for my main course. Ah, I'm going to be the consumption, isn't it? I'm going to be consumed, and I'm going to become part of the tentacles. <gasps> my dream <laughs> comes true. <laughs> She's staring me right in the eyes, and her gaze lingers on my mouth. She stares at my teeth and licks her lips. Could she eat my teeth? Well, I think you would. En well, I think you would enjoy. Uh, so one, I need to get something nice and meaty. So I'm gonna go with the steak. Ah, oh, she looks happy. That's glorious. I don't know why, but making, but seeing her happy is just super nice. It's cute. Steak. She suddenly recognized the word. Didn't he just say? Wait, he just, he said the word steak, right? He said the word steak. Then why is she? Um, 
and I uh, wouldn't normally recommend doing this, but but there's a bone or a piece of uh, cow skeleton in the steak. Maybe you might be able to eat that. Apparently, yes. And I'll have the lobster, please. He looks a little embarrassed. It is a night for celebrate. It is a night for celebrating, you know. Hey, I don't mind. Rack up that bill. He chuckles and heads off into the kitchen. I think surgeons do make a fair amount. I don't know how much. I, my only um. Uh, my only point of reference is Doctor Strange, <laughs> and also one other person in my family, and, um, uh, I think, I don't know. Hey, more bell, more the better, for me. The cooks prepare the dishes as usual and hand them off to me. Just like last time, never making eye contact or reacting to anything else. Just like last time, because, um, <laughs> that definitely happened, and I, I definitely pressed record. <laughs> you guys definitely, you guys were definitely there when I pressed, uh, when we, when we did this, Definitely. What do these meals require special cutlery? I want a lobster fork and a cracker for Henry. Cracker? Oh, like a fish cracker. And a steak and a steak knife for tele, uh, uh, Teleporia. I think Teleporia might be like an acronym or like... Yeah, I think it might be an acronym. Ac ac no, not an acronym. A jumbled up word for something else. Uh, it's a really good idea to hand a weapon. Uh, the, the serrated edges of a gleam in the murky light. Why is it murky? Is it really a good idea to hand a weapon like uh, like this over to her? She looks fine. She looks very capable with the with the knife, and I can finally end my miserable existence. I'm on my own here, and nobody help will help if she attacks me. Or maybe since nobody will else will help me, I I'll have to deal with the situation myself. She hasn't made a move to harm me yet, but she did do a number uh, on the dining room. It may be only be a matter of time. Hey, she looks very refined, uh, statuistic. And very cool. Let's look over at table six. It's time to make a choice. What should I do with the knife? Um, I don't want to kill her. She's so sweet. She's been super sweet and um, scary. So I'm going to give it to her. She She's a customer. In the end, this she is a customer. And this is an establishment of fine decorum. Fighting, fighting them seems like a pretty bad go Yeah. Yeah, if if this dude can summon circles of like from like demonic hell, what what else he could do? And there's no sense in making things really awkward, is right? The night's been going surprisingly well, and yeah, I'm gonna I'm going to count not dead as surprisingly well. I serve the dishes as usual, placing the lobster cracker and forth by Hendrik, and the steak knife next to tel uh, Teleporia's place. She glances at it. But not for more than a second, the only thing she's intent on attacking is her dinner. Blood juice flies from the steak, dripping everywhere, pulling in her lap, sprinkling onto her seat, flinging onto the tablecloth, speckling the crayon lines, which starts to buzz slowly. Should I call this for their attention? I'm gonna save and I'm gonna tell me. I tell them. They look up at me. I point to the table where the wood is already beginning to shimmer and warp. Oh, sweetie, you're opening the rift back up. He scrunches, he scrunches on the floor for a moment before sitting back up with the crayon. We watch as he crosses out a line and smudges the, a, a line there until the table looks, if not normal, then at least Euclidean. I know this is a good time to retreat back to the kitchen, but I can't help but ask. So did, did you just close the circle back up? It, look, it looked like the lines were already smudged before this. How, how, precisely, how precise did they need to be? He chuckles and picks up one of the lobster claws. This wasn't a circle of a summoning or making connection between realms. He places a claw inside the lobster cracker. The circle is just eroded the barrier in, in, in an already weak location. Usually, usually this place's owner keeps the doorway nice and clear. Oh, so the owner of this establishment knows that Teleporia comes by. Interesting. Very cool. Oh well, mistakes happen, right? Just let her know uh, to have a look at it, okay? Absolutely. She and I are gonna have a long talk. Haha, <laughs> it was no trouble. Wait, wait, what? Uh oh, okay. Oh, I have to tell the owner, okay. He starts to, he starts to squeeze the cracker. If you know how anything works, it's easy to destroy it. The shell the shell snaps open and, and he starts to dig, dig, digging the meat out. Teleporty appears at his hands, watching closely as he dismantles the creature. Would you like some? Ha! <laughs> And waste time preparing my own meal. My beefsteak is delicious. Peon. And someone called you a beefsteak, wouldn't they? <laughs> oh, yes, they would. They call you the beefiest of steaks. <laughs> Suit yourself. But you're missing out. On what? 
Steak is filled with calories for fuel and proteins, which are building blocks of DNA. Doesn't fish have more proteins than steak? I'm not quite sure. Name one thing that makes your meal the superior dish. Omega-3! That's th two things, technically. That's two words. Never mind, I'm dumb. I started to take a step back without eating. I can leave them in peace. Time to get out of here before human Lucifer. I am the devil! How many times did I tell you? Great. Yes, ma'am. Remain here and bear witness to my would-be mate's crushing defeat. Yes, ma'am. See, she's super sweet, right? <laughs> she's not gonna kill us. There are a few things I want less than to stay in the same area as these two, especially if they're going to fight. Sweetie. Uh, um, sweetie, you know I would never argue with you. I respect your- I respect your- I love, 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 I respect your opinions at all times. Even when they're wrong. <laughs> this dude's going in! Oh no. I am a deity. You cannot comprehend the vast depths of my knowledge. If I should make a statement, then it is surely so. Oh yeah, she's so deeply infallible that her first time out in public in the 1800s, she ran screaming from an accordion player, having literally never seen an untold millennia of existed anything. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, that's hilarious. I guess she was lucky that they weren't bagpipes, huh? Oh, oh, she's mad. She's a mad beefcake. Ah! She lands across the table, steak knife flying. Before she could even move, she stabs three times, knife driving down the, to the hilt with each thrust. Hendrik coughs, blood dribbling, dribbling down his chest. He didn't move. He didn't move a finger to defend himself. One of those stabs must have gotten him in an organ, and it's not like he can feel it. His face is skewed up from the intensity of the attack. <laughs> I suppose that was uncalled for. Yes! Very much so! I'm sorry, I missed what you said because it sounded like you were spinning lies to the human. Never, darling. At a complete loss, I pull an extra napkin from my apron and hand it over to Hendrik. So, human, have I won the argument? I'm, uh, gonna say yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to face you. Seems like a very bad idea. Pretty definitely. Ha! Now knifeless, she picks up her steak and rips a chunk off with her teeth. Let that be a lesson to all. I won't be forgetting something like that anytime soon. So before I go, is everything to your liking? Is the food um, powering your true form enough? Silly Lucifer, when in my true form I do not consume human fuel. She consumes human souls, doesn't she? I'm gonna say she consumes human souls because human souls are already consumable because you're already consumable. Yeah. This human template, my, what do you call it? Hendrik's caught mid-bite and he covers his mouth to respond. Human sonas. <laughs> yes, we all need human sonas. Woo, we're all human sonas, let's go. You're a human soma. You're a human sona, everyone's a human sona. My human sona it consumes calories, inhales oxygen, excretes feces, all the same uh, as you yourself, I assume. I never expected to have a restaurant patron ask if I breathe and poop, but here we are. Hey, breathing and pooping is very important. It might be embarrassing, but it's very important. Especially breathing. You don't want to get embarrassed from breathing, okay? Don't make, don't let anyone make fun of you, um, fun of you uh, to the fact that you breathe. Breathing is as cool as you are. But my true form requires something more deeply sustaining. She stares me down. Yeah. Oh, the music's gone. I'm, I'm going to get consumed, aren't I? She looks at my teeth again. She looks me in the eye. She hands. She holds it. She holds that eye. Uh, she holds that eye contact, and waits. I try not to squirm, but my moxie is in inadequate for the situation. She waits, and then laughs. I can breathe again. Delicious. A light dusting of fear. Nothing too overwhelming. Hey, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not afraid. I think a little bit of fear is always nice. <laughs> You're very fierce. <laughs> You're very fierce. And if that doesn't strike her as much as much fear, please let me never ever learn what does. So you eat fear then? It falls under my purview. Suffering. Sweetie's true form eats concepts, and she builds her human human zonas to have quite the taste for them. Yeah, like I said in the uh, in the um, I will not remain video. Um, link down below if you want to watch it. I think uh, I think I think that was a very great game. But I like. I've been really getting into Eldritch horrors just because their concepts are really awesome. Uh, they're, um, they're basically vast, un incomprehensible beings 
which can destroy human mind uh, just uh, trying to comprehend them. And they live outside of our realm and they consume different kinds of things like this, you know, uh, fears and stuff. That's really cool. That, that's really awesome. That's very, very cool. And she builds her human sonos to have quite the taste for them too. Any form of important emotions can sustain her, but she's picky. I am not. Suffering is the only thing worth eating. Eating anything else is what be, would be beneath me. It's okay, whatever you eat. I love you just the way you are. And I would like and I would like you much better with several more stab wounds to the <laughs> Uh this reminds me so much of our D and current D and D group. It's hilarious. <clears throat> Anytime, sweetie. Oh <gasps> He's getting he's getting blushies! He's getting blushies! He's blushing! Or he's either in fear. Uh, his face looks like it's uh, blushing, his eyes look like it's in fear, so... <laughs> oh, whoa, I, I, I missed something. What happened? Alright. Though I managed to sneak away for the f next 15 minutes, I, I know that I'll, I'll eventually have to return. I tried to, strike up a, strike, uh, I tried to strike up a conversation with the cooks again. So how do you guys feel about the recent tentacle invasion? Of course, nobody responds. Yeah, yeah, that definitely happened when I was recording. That definitely, you guys, you guys, you guys are the part where the cooks don't respond to us, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to really put it into words, huh? No response. Dishes click. I guess the spooky atmosphere has a certain charm, but I don't think it'll catch me on with the baby boomers. <laughs> They're getting wrecked by my words of destruction. Conventional wisdom says that the, they like elegance or rustic charm. The Midwestern moms are not into dripping fluids. I mean, as a general group. I don't want to assume individual ca casts. This gets boring quickly, so after the appropriate waiting period, I head back over. Is there, I mean, I, okay, if, if anyone works as a waiter or has worked as a waiter and, if, and you're watching this, let me know if there's like an appropriate, like a, what's like a good amount of time before a waiter comes back to the table? like. I know in, in, in like a lot of restaurants, waiters do keep an eye on like uh, tables that they're waiting while they're doing other tables as well. So they come, so they more or less know. But let's say you have to go to uh, go to the back for like a breather. Like how how long do you have to wait until you go back to the table? Let me know. I I'm curious. I'm, all, I'm also weird. So thank you for the, so thank you for dining with us tonight. I did it. I made it through the evening. I'm tempted to not even give them uh, give them a check. To this, uh, I can't speak. To just rush them right at the door, but I refuse to slip up now. It's been a delight getting to know the both of you. How kind of you. You know, I was planning on heading out, but you know what? I couldn't care less if I attempted, and I, I am very powerful. I am capable of caring far less than most humans could in their most apathetic dreams. Let's do dessert. Ah, I smacked microphone. I'm sorry, I smacked microphone. Oh, okay. I look from his smiling face. To Teleporia's cruel one. I know how this goes. Let's make a recommendation. Ah, uh, I want to get eaten, aren't I? Ah. <sighs> um. I'm gonna go with caution to the wind. I want. I. I like throwing caution to the wind, right? Uh, uh, what if, what about this? Okay, I'll go with this one. This seems like a good idea, right, guys? <laughs> first try. I, I definitely click on that first. Must remain professional. Everyone loves chocolate. Go with the safe option. Don't screw around when you're so close to the end of this. So close. Bring it on, Mr. Lucifer. Uh, the tart, the tart here do better after a few hours setting up in the cooler. So, so they aren't made to order. I'll grab a couple and some spoons and, and return. Teleporia doesn't seem to be a fan, but at least she doesn't make a scene. Henrik asks for the check, uh, and I rush off and get it get uh, get it ready in record in record time. He takes the check. He seems to do a bit of calculation in his, in his head, then lays down some cash. Well, this evening was wasn't a complete waste of time and effort. Organ ravioli. Henrik looks up at her. You may have one short, friendly embrace. He jumps to his feet, arms wide open to hug her, and one of her tentacles slams into him, throwing his body across the room. Oh no. It slams into a wall and ragdolls to the ground. Hug transaction complete. Oh no, did you just kill him? She heaves a sigh. Would it? Would. Would I were so lucky? No, human, I have merely rendered him unconscious. That's good. Via se severe cranial hemorrhaging. 
Well, he's a he's a surgeon, right? He can surgeon on himself. He can do the surgery on himself. Yeah, that's bad. He will sleep it off. I've ripped his off his limb before. He can take it. He, she almost looks fond. She gets up, walks over to him, and grabs him by the foot. I suppose it's time to return him to his residence. She perks up. Or I can abandon uh, uh, his body in a trash unit. Perhaps nobody will find him and he will be placed inside a trash compactor. As she turns to drag him away, I ask. Miss Teleporia. She turns, quizzical. Human, I am departing. You've made it through this evening unscathed. You have little to no ability to comprehend how fortunate that makes you. But I suggest you make an attempt. I clear my throat. I, uh... I think I'm trapped. I guess gesture around the restaurant. Oh yes, I, for I had forgotten. Your world usually has evening even more light, does it not? She shrugs. Well, I had no hand in this. And with that, she waves aside a tentacle and marches through the front door. Hendrik's head thuds against the ground as she walks down the staircase and out of sight. No, don't leave me here. Why would you do that? No. When I hear the front door close. Oh. Another server bumped me in, in the shoulder, stepping past. They give me a dirty look and keep heading their way. Just like that, I'm back. I get moving, clearing the table, scooping up the check. I check the tip. 40%! It might not cover emotional distress. <laughs> emotional damage! <laughs> but it'll cap off the shift as well. This was quite the experience. But for my own safety, I think I'm going to skip over the two weeks notice. I came here to learn something new. And I'd say that the goal was uh, more than accomplished. I would keep serving here if I had the opportunity to meet Eldritch Horrors. I mean, come on, what's cooler than that? A hug goodbye. So there are multiple endings. I see, I see. So uh, despite no one knowing what happened at the start, I'm, I, I want to quickly try something because at the beginning, uh, the man asked to get the, that red crayon, so the, the thing that was uh, destroying the barrier. And we have the option to get red or blue, so I'm going to go with blue instead. I don't sure spite I grab a blue crayon. Look, I haven't had I haven't ha I have to be here until all the customers leave, but that doesn't mean I have to like it. I bring the crayon over and hand it over. Thank you, Mr. Lucifer. Look, I really appreciate it. Can you order something? I'm usually oh. Oh! Does he not check I does he not check the crayon? Um Okay, so it's so it's just a normal thing. Okay. It's just the normal thing. So ne ne next thing I want to check is um whether me ordering everything perfectly. Uh, uh, goes well for the dude. So I'm gonna do the uh, uh, lamb bisque that I, I forgot, and then I'm gonna not give the knife. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go do that. And with the magic of the internet, I'm gonna be back. So I did get the um, other ending, and I I, I, I tried everything properly, and it still, it still gave the hug uh, ending. So I'm, I'm gonna try giving a brandy because the only thing I didn't try yet. And there's nobody seems to notice what I did this evening. I'll just grab grab a glass for myself and pull up a chair. And she can eat up all the discomfort she want. I like this human, I'm keeping him. Sweetie, no. But I'm already off grabbing the bottle and a tray of glasses. I slam them down on the table and fill them up. I'll bet that you haven't had a good drink in, Will. How long have you been stuck in that cold place? She grabs a glass. Void. Void, God, what's it like in there? She knocks back the brandy like it's whiskey. Probably goes without saying that she doesn't drink much. Dark, cold, mostly barren. Locked up for something approaching an eternity with nothing but your own thoughts. Unless one can become... Creative. I do my best to make creatures to fill it, but it is a vast expanse. Literally endlessly big. But with nothing in it. Yeah, I mostly caught the part about your conversation before. You made your body, right? Indeed. When Rift became open, I am able to seize not only heat, but stray matter. I model the majority of my creations after your carbon-based life forms. But modifications must be made. I'll bet. If the void doesn't have heat or any matter, you need to make creatures that don't eat or breathe, right? Good, human. I model most of them after myself, and you eat concepts. Oh, uh, sorry, and you eat concepts, yes. For billions, and bil uh, for billions and billions of years, I have evolved over a million species of void creatures. Nearly all of them feed, as I do, on the concepts of suffering. So it's an endless barren place with no light and heat where only things that exist just go around preying on each other's suffering all the time? Yes. Is it not marvelous? And someday, human Lucifer, there will be a, a rift large enough that is not a uh, tiny scrap and stray humans which will fall through for your entire plane of existence. Uh, she must mean the Big Bang. Maybe, I don't know. You will enjoy it. Wouldn't I er, hate it? 
I, I reach over for the bottle, but it's nearly empty. She's been putting it away fast. I mean, I don't enjoy suffering. You'd be surprised what humans can get used to. He finally takes a sip off his brandy. I used to, I used wrong English word. A closer translation might be resignation. Oh, she doesn't like to be resigned. Okay. You would become resigned to an existence saturated with pain. And joy isn't the correct term, unless you're a disgusting cluster of mis uh, miswired, miswired brain signals. Love you too, sweetie. Ugh. I know what you're doing here, Hendrik. Hmm? You think if I can keep delaying me with these fancy dinners, stolen body parts, gentle words, and r rough sex? Uh, could we not talk about our sex life in public? Thank you, hey. He, 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 he must be getting that. <laughs> that, uh, beefsteak, alright. <laughs> must... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> she places a hand on his arm. That you can stop me. You are always disgusting, but an appealing op opponent. And with that, she slumps over the table, snoring loudly. By now, I can tell that is a smile on her face. She turns to the side and brushes her uh, brushes her hair out of her face and wraps her uh, wraps her up in her scarf. I'm sorry, Mr. Lucifer. This must have been really off uh, uh, an awfully difficult table for you tonight. I didn't think they'd give us some someone so new. Yeah, the manager didn't warn me that we we had um, <clears throat> special clientele. I was not even close to briefed about it. Well, you handled it marvelously. If you'd like to bring us a check, I think it's time to get her home. I nod and I clean up the bottle and glasses. So we're gonna lock her up or something? He chuckles. No, this is just sliver of, of an entity deep in the void. She can always make another body. But when she recalls memories and experiences from this one, I want to make sure she knows it. She can always switch diets. I ponder that while, while I get his check. She's been around longer than any of our species, longer than any of our planet. So no matter how old Hen Hendrik is, it's nowhere close. But when I bring the check back, Mr. Hendrik? Hmm. I'm rooting for you. Hey, me too. I think that I think they make a great couple. You know, she she seems to like him even though she'll know she won't admit it, and he seems to like her even though he admits it. So hey, they make a great couple, and this is immensely cute. Aw. Keep on doing the keep on doing the hero thing. He laughs all the way through, signing signing the check loudly. My dear Lucifer, I assure you I'm not being noble. It's very, very selfish. He looks at uh, Teleporia. Uh, Poria. She grinds her teeth a little, probably dreaming of biting someone. He scoops her up, making it look easy. She must be lighter than she looks. Or he's used to picking her up. He, he's used to his beefcake. <laughs> uh, for a moment, I think he's going to kiss her on the cheek. But he doesn't give her anything. More than a loving gaze. He carries her off at the restaurant, and the second they step outside the door, everything goes back to normal. I start busting the table. The tentacles may be gone, but the tablecloth is still a mess. I get it now. The cloth, the, the closed space must be the part of the restaurant. They keep people safe from the more bizarre guests. Now that they're gone, it'll be up to Hendrik to keep Hendrik to keep everyone safe. I bust the table and sneak a peek at the check. Dang, an eighty percent tip on the check with steak and a full bottle of wow, damn. Makes the idea of staying here pretty tempting. I'm honestly considering it. But first, I'm going to need to have a long talk with my manager. Normally, that sort of conf confrontation, confrontation would be intimidating. But I'm bolstered by the memory of Teleporia's grin. Hey, she does seem really sweet. And I grin too. I can handle it. That was great. Sweet dreams. All right. So that's all. That's all, uh, that. That was great. That was awesome. Uh, I'm really glad that I played that. That was such a sweet game. Even though you guys didn't see half the game, but hey, if you want to see it, if you want to play it, links below to play it. I think that's an awesome, awesome game. And there are three more endings that I did not get, which you can get if you try. Um, but yeah, I think that was an incredible game and. I would love to work in a res re restaurant like this. If there was ever a restaurant in reality where eldritch horror, horror beings came, I would love to work there. Yeah, I think uh, uh, I think Teleporia was super sweet and great. Maybe just mis misunderstood. Who knows? But yeah, <laughs> and uh, I want all of you to scream at me. If anyone makes it to the, to the end of this video now, scream at me in the comments. Yell at me to record properly the next time. Like yell at me. I I deserve it. <laughs> I should have pressed record. I, I didn't press record. Oh no! Anyways, uh, remember to scream at me in the comments. Smash that um, 
smash that food button on the on the food that you're that you may possibly might probably be eating and i'll see you in the next video take care everyone i'll see you in the next one take care again i'm saying take care three times now and goodbye